Welcome, everyone. Together, we shall explore the fascinating evolution of psychotherapy, from ancient rituals to modern scientific practices. Let's uncover the tale of the mind's healing journey. Humanity has long grappled with the mysteries of the mind. Our journey in psychotherapy began with an inherent aspiration to understand and alleviate mental suffering. In the remote past, spiritual ceremonies served as the primary means of addressing mental anguish. However, the Enlightenment era broke these mystical shackles, fostering an empirical approach towards understanding mental health. This shift was galvanized by revolutionary figures such as Sigmund Freud, whose psychoanalytic theories provided groundbreaking insights into the complexities of the human psyche. Likewise, Carl Jung's pioneering work in analytical psychology unveiled previously unrecognized facets of our unconscious minds. This journey, which saw the metamorphosis of mystical rituals into evidence-based practice, symbolizes our unwavering quest for effective mental health treatments. This transformative narrative underscores the ongoing paradigm shift from mysticism to science in the sphere of psychotherapy. It signifies an indomitable human spirit consistently evolving its methods to unravel the enigma of the mind. Hippocrates' revolutionary thinking was a beacon in the gloom of pre-enlightenment mistreatment of mental illness, shifting perceptions from arcane shamanism and dreaded exorcisms to more rational physiological origins. His revolutionary period of 460 to 370 BCE marked an epoch in paving the path for naturalistic causes underlying mental health disorders. This momentum gathered pace, with the Enlightenment era illuminating a more measured sword against mental health woes. Hippocrates' theory of the four humors, essentially an imbalance in four bodily fluids, blood, phlegm, black bile, and yellow bile, provided a pivot towards discerning physical explanations for mental disorders radically transforming the mental health landscape. The Enlightenment era pioneers strove to expand the understanding of mental illness through astute observational methods. This fundamental shift from mysticism to scientific rationality laid the cornerstone for the modern scientific exploration of mental health disorders we are accustomed to today. Sigmund Freud disrupted the status quo of 19th century mental health by introducing the unconscious mind concept. Before Freud, the paradigm was that mental health existed entirely within our conscious mind's realm. Imagine an iceberg. Its visible tip is our conscious mind, while the enormous invisible structure beneath the water signifies our unconscious mind. This vivid analogy encapsulates Freud's revolutionary theory, emphasizing the unconscious mind's significant role. Freud's psychoanalysis shifted emphasis toward probing this mind's hidden section, based on the hypothesis that mental disorders originate here. Dora, one of Freud's famous cases while not delving into specifics, demonstrated the principle that dreams can disclose unconscious conflicts. Freud's thesis about dream interpretation laid the cornerstone for modern psychoanalysis. The aftermath of Freud's work was seismic, leading to a paradigm shift in psychotherapy. Moving away from a reliance on mysticism and spirituality towards an appreciation for the unconscious mind's enormous scientific significance. The ripples from his revolutionary wave continue to influence current therapeutic practice. His subversion of the previously accepted norm highlighted that the mind's secrets lay hidden beneath the surface waiting to be discovered. In the early 20th century, a seismic shift occurred within the field of psychology, marking the emergence of behaviorism. Central to this revolution were two figures, John Watson and B.F. Skinner. Watson emphasized the importance of observable evidence over introspection, advocating for a science of behavior understandable through external observation. Concurrently, Skinner expanded on these ideas using the concept of operant conditioning, wherein behavior is modified based on rewards and punishments. This marked a clear divergence from Freud's psychoanalysis and moved towards a more empirical and observable focus in studying the human mind. But what mechanisms drive these changes in behavior? Conditioning, a fundamental process in behavior modification, provides an answer. This was famously demonstrated by Ivan Pavlov in his classical conditioning experiments, wherein a neutral stimulus like a bell, when repeatedly paired with food, an unconditioned stimulus induced salivation, a conditioned response in dogs, even in the absence of food. 
This setup succinctly encapsulates the power of conditioning, showing how behavior can change through the simple process of association. Through these insights, an entirely new perspective on human behavior was born, one that saw less value in brooding over introspections and more worth in examining visible actions. This pivotal shift has shaped modern psychology, now seen as an empirical science thriving on observable behavior. Carl Rogers brilliantly pivoted the focus of therapy, fashioning an approach that centers on the individual client, their perceptions, their feelings, and their experiences. This essence of client-centered therapy is what distinguishes Rogers as a key pioneer in psychology. Delving into the idea of empathy, he urged therapists to understand the world as their clients see it. In a radical twist, Rogers introduced unconditional positive regard, a complete non-judgmental acceptance and appreciation of the client as they are. These critical components, when coupled with the therapeutic relationship, a strong supportive bond between therapist and client, aim to influence and facilitate personal growth. An exceptional example of Rogers' client-centered therapy comes to life in his work with Gloria. Although we abstain from delving into specifics, it's remarkable how Rogers effectively utilized empathy, unconditional positive regard, and the therapeutic relationship, setting the stage for Gloria's personal journey and growth. This historic therapy session not only highlights Rogers' techniques in practice, but also exemplifies the profound impact of his revolutionary approach on the landscape of psychotherapy. Delving further into the roots of psychotherapy, we encounter cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, a powerful intervention for many mental health disorders. Born from the union of behavioral and cognitive psychology, CBT focuses on the intricate web between thought, emotion, and behavior. As two universes helix together, Cognitive and behavioral psychology unify into a transformative paradox, altering one's negative thought of I will fail into the more empowering I can pass. CBT manifests practically through the ABC model, where A is an antecedent or trigger, such as a late night work email. B is belief or perception, such as a preconceived notion that the email requires an immediate response. C is consequence or reaction, such as experiencing sleep difficulty, the crux lies in modifying B or perception to change C or reaction. A shift in our perspective can drastically alter our emotional response. This core interconnection is portrayed vividly in the Venn diagram labeled CBT, interconnections. The triad of thoughts, emotions, and behaviors interlink with the intersection value denoting 10, a reminder that the strength of CBT stems from synergizing these critical three elements this interplay establishes the fundamental basis for CBT, an integrated approach to unraveling the labyrinth of the human psyche. Journeying in psychotherapy shows us humankind's ceaseless yearning to comprehend and ameliorate mental suffering. An ancient field that initially found solace in mysticism and spiritual rituals blossomed to embrace the scientific illumination ushered in by thinkers like Sigmund Freud and Carl Jung. Today, we behold cognitive behavioral therapy as the flag bearer, fortifying our faith in science-backed treatment methodologies. Emphasizing the course of psychotherapy, it's breathtaking witness the flexibility exhibited. This discipline beautifully amalgamates durability and adaptability, evolving and shaping itself around the discoveries of the day. The integration of evidence-based practices remains a cornerstone in its path to improvise mental health interventions. Peering ahead, we recognize the ascent of teletherapy, the new titan in the realm of psychotherapeutic treatment. As we step towards this promising landscape, we bear witness to an era where global connectivity meets digital convenience. Revolutionizing mental health care by bridging physical barriers, teletherapy encapsulates the spirit of psychotherapy, relentlessly evolving and adapting to the demands of time and people, ever committed to better the human condition. Consequently, this poetically is the reflection of psychotherapy's incredible journey, a battle against mental distress, fought with wisdom evolved from mysticism to modern science, prepared to embrace the future's technological prowess.